Everyone, be quiet. Mario is sleeping. This is gonna be okay. a very quiet let's play. No, he's up. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> oh, I woke his ass He's up. like, let's get going. All right, so let's see. So here, oh, this is where we came out of. Okay, where so, are we? So we are on the top level of the castle. So you know what we, the last section we have to go through, which I forget how many stars you need. We gotta fight Bowser a one more time. One and more time. Yeah. 50 stars. Celebrate. Celebrate. Do you, did you ever have... No. <laughs> did you ever have anyone <laughs> celebrate? Celebrate. Did you ever have anyone who um who would sing the, the the wrong words to a song? Oh wait, one more thing before I do. Do you see like the little cloud guy there, the 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 little Kitu? He's holding uh -huh. a camera. That's by the way the camera. Like you know how I can move the camera again around? I'm actually moving that guy in the cloud around. Isn't that cool? What? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did, are they like? See how he moves around when I move the camera around? So that's that's insinuating so the trying to say, oh, is him. He, it's at the very beginning. I, I didn't point it out, but he's the guy who comes in at the very beginning. He's like, oh, I'm filming this for prosperity or something. I was wondering what the hell I was. Well, first of all, I wasn't sure. Was that a mirror you looked at? This is into? a mirror. Oh, and, and then I was like, what is that there you, above you? Do you see the snow picture in the mirror? Uh huh. And you see how it's missing here? Oh. Watch this. <gasps> oh, it's a hidden. Uh... Oh, I bet she didn't know that was going to happen. The snowman's got a big head. Damn, <laughs> snowman. Thinks he's all that. Uh, oh, anyway. I, I was... Oh, do you... Do you have... <laughs> I used to have this person I knew who would sing the well, words to the song. He would sing songs, but would sing the words wrong. Like, just slightly wrong. And it was, like, the best thing in the world. Like, like, uh, like you were singing that Celebrate song. Um... And, and he would sing that song that's like, Celebrate good times, alright. But he would always sing it as, Celebration time, alright. And it was like my favorite. <laughs> oh, I forgot that these coins are here. A stupid frog. But that was like the best thing, to just hear slightly off lyrics to a song. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know the lyrics, I just mumble. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta make him up. Uh, I mean, it just seems embarrassing to just make it up, and you're singing in front of this person, as, and they look at you like, "That's not the words to that song." You're like, "It's my favorite song, of course." Tell us the lyrics. Uh, you like, no, I don't know the lyrics to "Celebration Time." All right. <laughs> oh my god. Well, my, my time. other favorite one that he did was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know why I thought this was so funny. I never corrected him because I thought it was like, uh, was um, uh, the song "If You Like Pina Coladas and Getting Caught in the Rain." Uh huh. He would always sing it, but instead of saying pina coladas, he would say pina colada. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was. Funny. He's like, if you like a pina colada. <laughs> Like in a, like with an accent or something? Yeah, <laughs> you have a bit of an accent. Oh, okay, yeah, anyway, okay. I got super off topic by something that's only funny to me. Yeah, um, only you. Oh, by the way, last episode. If you were with us in the last episode, I'm gonna tell you what we did. If not, I'm gonna fill you. But uh, if you were there, this is gonna be repetitive <laughs> for you, so just ignore it. If you weren't there, I'm gonna fill you in on what we were talking about. So we were talking about the movie Broken Arrow. John Travolta, um, Steven Seagal, maybe? Steven Seagal? Uh, no. Um, Who the hell's in that movie anyways? Um, Richard Dreyfuss. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just making that shit up. Uh, oh no, oh. you fucking penguin. God, you got blown away. Or you lost my, your hat. I gotta go get my freaking hat. Why is this so important? Magic. Because, because I have hat hair, and I don't want anyone to see my hat hair. <laughs> and I gotta go all the way back up. Well, anyway, we're talking about the bro movie Broken Arrow, which neither I nor JD have seen. Yeah, I've never um, seen it. And we were guessing what the plot was for Broken Arrow. If you want to hear what I guess, you gotta listen to the last episode. We gotta hear JD's guess. I looked it up, so I know the actual plot to Broken Arrow. And we'll see how close JD gets. Okay, okay so, so... Give us your plot to the movie, John Travolta so movie. So the Broken plot Arrow. to... Broken Arrow is a gay love story, right? John Travolta. And John Gaylor. Travolta plays a Native American, which of course we all know he's not, but it's Hollywood, so he plays. I mean, jo Johnny Depp did it, so you know what? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he became a Cheyenne, if I'm not mistaken. 
I don't think that counts. So. <laughs> I mean, he's a Native American now. <laughs> well, well anyway, he's part of a is, tribe. Isn't that great that that's something Johnny Depp did and is not the most problematic thing he's done? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, I'm sure Amber Heard has more things to say. Anyway, okay, so, anyway, continue. John, John Travolta, Native, gay Native American. He's a gay Native American, and he's got to get the blessings of this chief so he can marry this person he loves. And the chief gives him this impossible, ridiculous task of finding the other half of an arrow that's, like, somewhere in a fucking forest. So that's, like, the whole plot line right there, like... John Travolta looking for the other half of a broken Oh my god, I just did the same thing twice. Gosh, George. So you're going to completely ignore the fact that in the trailers for the movie, it looks like he's in a fighter jet? (laughs) I've never seen a trailer either, man. I'm telling Uh, you the story here. I'm telling you what the movie's about. It's a gay love story where John Travolta plays a Native American. He's got long black hair and he's got, you know, the whole racist looking Native American gear on uh, and he you, says how how <laughs> all right I'm gonna do a different start because I keep falling off there and I'm afraid to do it again uh okay so you were close I was John Travolta uh-huh. is married to Christy Alley they have a baby <laughs> the baby can talk but it has the voice of Bruce Willis <laughs> um they're kind of going through a rough patch in their marriage, and the baby's like, what's going on? And it's kind of like, you know, you hear the thoughts of the baby. He's kind of a smart aleck a little bit. And, and then, you know, they kind of make it work in the end. That's the plot to Broken Arrow. Yeah, that's a completely <laughs> different movie. <laughs> no, Broken Arrow. John Travolta. I believe he's a park ranger in it. He plays a park ranger? I, well, actually, I read the plot, but I don't know which character he was. I assume he's the park ranger because I believe that's the main character. Okay. Um, so they were testing a a um, a a special stealth aircraft in the U.S. to see how well it can avoid air uh, avoid radar detection. Okay. The stealth aircraft is carrying two nukes. I guess it's part of the test. One of the that's pilots smart. goes rogue and tries to steal the aircraft. Well, okay. Co-pilot stops him, crashes the aircraft in the middle of the Utah Zion Park. One of the parks in Utah. Okay. And now it's missing, so they don't know where it's landed. Uh Uh-huh. Park ranger has to find it. They find it. The nukes are missing, and that's the whole plot. It's basically a cliffhanger, but with Yeah, I was going to say it's like cliffhanger. (laughs) Basically cliffhanger. What is this one? Mystery Uh, of the Monkey I still like my plot better. Uh, Yeah, yours is good. (laughs) It's unique. Right? I think it works. I think so. Uh, where is... Okay, what where are is you looking for? The pink bomb. I can open the... Should I get the eight red coins? Should I go down there? I don't know if I should. Those mushrooms bounce? I feel like I want to go down there. No, they don't bounce. They're just, you can... You remember you played Mario Brothers 1? Uh-huh. Where you could jump on these, like, mushrooms and... Oh, okay, That's gotcha. what this level is. I guess I'll get the I don't know why I thought they there. bounced, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean... Oh, <clears throat> damn. There's definitely a game where you jump on mushrooms that bounce. I... Mom, I'm going to level yeah, with sure. you guys. I'm going to level with you, because you know what? I'm a straight shooter. <laughs> I no don't chaser. know where a lot of these stars are in these levels. Well, I thought you played this game when you were a kid. Oh, you know what we can do? What we could do? I did. But I'm trying to remember where these are. Uh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? You know what we what? could do? You know what we could do? You know what we could do? We could do. We could do. We could do. We could do. We could do this one. Um, because I think I know. No, not that way. I know. You can't come in. You shall not pass. What if? What if? What if? Uh. My, um, um, Gandalf oh my God, made the decision instead of saying you shall not pass that way. He was like, you shall not pass. Like that. Jesus. I think that would have been a cool decision. Sounds like he's got a cold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was kind of sounding very menacing. Yeah. He was like, oh man. That was like the best part of that movie. Really? Uh... What do you think was the best part of the Fellowship of the Ring? I like the part where Gimli tries to smash the ring with an axe and his axe shatters and he's like, what just happened? He's like, <laughs> he like this that confused possible? look on his face. Right, classic, he's like, how's that Classic Gimli, man. They didn't have enough Gimli and Legolas in it, right? They needed more. 
I like how their parts in the movie was <laughs> eventually just to be like, hey, they're like bros. <laughs> and that's like a thing now. <laughs> right? Sweet. <laughs> they had like no real bearing on the plot that much besides the fact that they were like bros. They're oh super God. bros. Yeah, and they're like, oh. And they're like, that's a one for me. And then he's like, I got one too, little man. Or whatever. <laughs> I don't think he called Gimli little man. <laughs> no. I don't remember that part. Uh, but they were they were such good bros. Oh, do you remember Koopa the Quick? Where was Koopa the Quick? I'm supposed to race him here. Wait. No, oh, there's confused. another race. Yeah, but where is he? That's the end. I, for some reason, I thought he was here, but he's not here. He's a down to here, I think. <laughs> I was like, here we go, belly flop. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I don't think he was down there. <clears throat> there was nothing down there. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back to these levels after I played a little more, because you know what? I don't want to disappoint you guys and be like, he doesn't know what he's doing, which probably you whatever. Don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'll go sure. down to some of these levels where I know where shit is. I know where shit is in the boo house. I know where shit is boo, in the boo. bomb battlefield. Boo, boo. We, uh, we haven't done too much of the Womp Fortress. Let's do that. There's still a bunch we can get here. Womp, there it is. Womp, there it is. Chaka laka 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 laka. You remember they had that, that <clears throat> towel thing called Shawala or something? Sh the Shamwow? Shamwell. It made Sham wow. Sham wow. Because it made you say fucking wow. Wow, that's amazing. And you're like, wow, this wow. is a towel. <laughs> Why did that's I pay thirty dollars? Why did I make three easy payments of twenty nine ninety nine for a freaking towel? I think I made bad financial decisions. And it's like, yeah, you do. <laughs> they had like the most annoying infomercials back then, right? Yeah. And that was like one of them. No, the Super best. Super annoying. Oh my god, I love infomercials. Do you ever watch compilations of just infomercials? They probably have them on YouTube. I love the black and white guy. You know who I'm talking about? The guy who doesn't know how to pour pasta out of a container. Um, oh, so here, <laughs> I'm going to shoot into that cage. You see uh, that cage there? Uh-huh. Watch, watch this master Thanks. shot. So you can, this is George's pro tip. So you can use the red coin as a guide. And you want to keep the red coin right at the bottom. I believe it's like right at the bottom corner like that. And you'll fall right in the cage. Maybe a little high. That seems a bit difficult. All right, let's see if that's it. <gasps> Ready! Ooh, you hit the rim there. <laughs> I wasn't... Such a I surprised myself by hitting that one. Yeah. Almost, man. It hit the oh, rim yeah. there. Yes. Uh, oh, that wasn't even the one I was supposed to hit. Oh, what is the one? What? Oh, I, oh, I need to do the other one. Do you guys want to see the owl? Actually, the owl is kind of counterproductive for where I need to go. So I'm not going to do the owl. But he takes you to the top if you climb that tree. Oh, He's like, oh, the cool. can you help you The mind? great owl. He's like, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? One, pop? two, three. So the world may never know. There's a crash. Tootsie Pops. They make, still make Tootsie Pops. This is where yeah, I need to go, do. by the way. I need to go into this little cubby hole here. So I believe I need to aim a little bit higher and hit that post. Maybe right there. Do you think that looks right? Does that um, look right? I guess. Boom. Oh. Boom. You should have died. You should have said yes. You should have been confident. You should have been like, you're my husband. I trust you. I have full confidence in everything you say. Uh, I wasn't sure that was supposed to happen like because that, that looked like a real ouch. Ouch. He's got a hard head. He's like, oh, I think I have a brain damage. Don't let me go to sleep. <laughs> Should we just get all six in here? I think I know where all six are. Let's see. I guess I'll do the coins next. Red coins on floating islands. I get a red coin. Um, okay. Club A. Two. Are you sleeping on top of the clock? Oh my gosh. We can't see the timer. Our dog is sleeping. Uh... Guys, you guys gotta get a dog. If you don't have a dog, here's what here's here's my advice. If you're like, man, I have so much free time, so much ability to do the things I wanna do. You're like, I can just like after work, if I just wanna go have dinner, I can do that. I don't have to be worried about letting anything out. Here's what you need to do, go get a dog and letting change anything all that. out. <laughs> I guess it's better than a baby, right? A baby's like really that's gonna ruin all your plans. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of parents that don't see it that way. <laughs> Jeez, George. <laughs> it just, you, you know, you gotta work around it, right? Like, 
<laughs> like, son, you really ruined everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like that Mike Birbiglia. Yeah, he has must, a I was going to say that. His stand-up, I mean, it was good. His stand-ups are interesting. He started, I think, because he's been around for a long, long time. For bigs. Um, I think there's one on the slope, if I'm not mistaken. Is there a red coin? Yeah, I got it. Did you see me get that coin? Okay, uh, I'll show you the owl now. The because owl you guys are like, me. I want to see this owl. He's lying to me. There's no owl. The wise owl. I want to see. Do you think the person who said the owls were wise said that? Well, well oh, there he is. Uh, oh, no, take me up. Where are you going? Who's there? Who woke me up? He's, he's like, the... got his back to you. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, press A to grab on, press A to let go. I'll take you wherever. Come over here. Let's He's like, go, let's grab go, on let's go. While I fly precariously over the edge. Whoa. Whoa. How could he pick you up? Oh, damn. Wow, wow. That was not super useful. I think I should just wow. hold on to him to take what me all the way to the top. What was the point of that, George? I don't know. I was supposed to hold on for him to take me all the way to the top. He must be thinking you're a real jackass. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, you want to get off here? Okay, if you want to. Okay. It's going to be a buck fifty. <laughs> Jake. Like a dollar fifty or a hundred and fifty dollars? <laughs> like, what do you think, motherfucker? A dollar fifty, you cheap ass motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so watch this. You see this? You see this? This, this plank here? Watch this. Uh -huh. Boom. Whoa. Give it one more kick. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's Whoops. a real kick. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Don't you love that camera angle where you like are like, yeah, my lined can't up. Can't engage so. where. Yeah. Oh, you can kick it. Kick it. There we go. Jeez, that took a bit. I'll just walk over slowly so I don't fall over. Needs to exercise. Doesn't have upper body strength. Doesn't have lower body strength. What's up with that? Are you telling me to exercise? You guys are the ones sitting on the couch playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> I have to jump over here and jump over there. Yeah. yeah. Woo hoo! I did it. Now I gotta go all the way back down there. Why is it so far away? Can't get the owl to take you back. No, he doesn't like me anymore. He's like, you jumped off, you He's son of a bitch. Dumb. You son of a bitch. Whoa. Wow! Wow! Oh my gosh, Jay, it's like a what... cat. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite Mario game? Go. Uh, I always liked the third one, Super Mario Brothers Three. Super Mario Brothers Three. Did you like Mario Hotel? Mario Hotel. <laughs> Mario. Where he kind of like. Um... He manages a hotel, and he's like, you just sit there as a check-in guy, and you're like, oh, you want that room? Okay, I'll give you a room. That sounds like an amazing no. game. So Mario Hotel is a real game. It wasn't made by Nintendo, but it was. It got the 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 the, the okay from Nintendo. <clears throat> okay. So there was a system called the Philips CDI. Oh, I've heard of that. Which was a video game console developed by Philips. You know the ones that make like um, VCRs and stuff. Uh -huh, yeah. I and electronics, they're like Swedish. Whoa, um, the... Oh, that hurts. Why did you Jeez. do that, player? Um, Ate some brick. So they were supposed to have it. They were supposed to enter a partnership with Nintendo for that console, and it was supposed to be a Nintendo console, like a CD Nintendo console. Uh huh. And Nintendo last minute was like, "No, we don't want to do that." Um, so I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> oh, okay. um, so since Nintendo was like, "No, we're not doing that." Nintendo decided to license out some of their properties to them. Mm -hmm. right. So they made three Zelda games and a Mario game for the CDI. Um, most famously, three very bad Zelda games. Wow, really? Um, well, Whoa. Blah, well... You are flying into nothing. Well, okay. <laughs> you smacked into the edge. Like I guess we'll do Truman something Show. else. I'm getting tired of the level anyway. Um, <clears throat> so the game they released was Mario Hotel. It was like a puzzle game. I don't Mario think it was terrible, Hotel. but... It was a very, um, very strange, obscure Mario game. Yeah, I've that's, never heard of that. That's where, why I mention it. Where can you get that to play it if you wanted to play it? Uh, well, you can download it and play it on an emulator, or you can spend two hundred dollars and buy it on eBay. Jeez, <laughs> First, spend okay. two hundred and fifty dollars on the Philips CDI, and then buy I don't know, maybe it's like ninety dollars for a copy of Mario Hotel. 
Oh, you have to get like a working Philips CDI, which is at least, I want to say, 200 or 250 Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to do this. That's a hard pass. <clears throat> yeah, definitely not worth it. Um, I don't know how well it plays on emulators. I don't know the current state of Philips CDI emulation. I assume maybe they got some of those more famous games working on it. Um, not sure if they have 100% all the games working on it. Remember I was trying to do this last last video? Yeah, I'm gonna do it this that's time. true. You got the confidence. I got the confidence. Oh no, you son of a bitch. Mari you still had the confidence, right? Oh, why is this game so hard? <laughs> why? Are you gonna start crying? About I, I literally did this earlier today. I was practicing. I'm like, I'm gonna do a stupid volcano level because this volcano level ain't got shit on me. So wait, you practice and beat it, or you're yeah, just I, still stuck I, on it? No, I. The <laughs> fact that you have to ask that question is insulting to me, insulting to our fan base, insulting to Mario. Of course I beat it because I am a motherfucking G. Does that stand for gangster when they're like, I'm a motherfucking G? G? Or does it stand I for... It genius. Or maybe good person, right? Or, good fellow. Or, um... Good a, bar. A good bar? <laughs> yeah, good bar. A good burger. Welcome to good bar. Good burger. Did you watch that movie? No. no Did didn't. you watch all that? Yeah, that, that. Oh, yeah. Remember we watched, I watched a lot of it. The YouTube video that's like, what happened to some of these people from all that? <laughs> yeah. Because they were like child actors. And it's like, what, what actually happened to them? Where did they go? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of them stopped acting. Um, I think Except, I of course, the obvious one, right? Like Kenan Thompson. Kenan Thompson or Amanda Bynes. I don't know what she happened to Amanda Bynes. They Bynes were talking about Bynes? her recently. Is it Bynes or Bynes? No, Bynes, I think. Bynes, I think. Bynes, right? Not Bynes. She had done a few movies and then like disappeared. Yeah, she had a show called What I Like About You. But, oh yeah, I know she did some movies. No, no, you son of a bitch. I did the exact same thing I did last time. I hate Mario. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I don't mean like, oh, like, oh, I hate you, playful. Mario, I want you to burn in hell. You fucking... Well, he was burning there. <laughs> you should just let it happen. Just let it happen. <laughs> yeah, she, she was on the news recently. Her conservatorship was ending or something. She had a conservatorship? Yeah. Really? What did they do to these... Ch like, because that happened to Britney Spears too, right? You're talking yeah. about that thing that happened to Britney Spears with her dad? Or the, yeah. Where she was like in charge of her life? Right, right, right. So she had I something similar what, going yeah. on? Yeah. Well, I didn't read the whole thing. I just saw a headline and they were saying that that's ending. <laughs> No, no, Mar ah! I'm so mad. <laughs> I you still got that confidence, right, George? You could do it. God damn it. I fucking did this. It's God damn it. Clovis is concerned. So he's looking at you like. It's I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I almost broke this N64 controller, and it's like the one good one I have. God damn it. <laughs> no, we're doing this. We're gonna do this. Okay. We're gonna do this. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Have this. some pasta and get you going. Oh, good. I get to start here. Thanks. Saving me two they seconds. Felt, they felt bad for you. <sighs> <laughs> Breathing stupid. hard there. So fucking stupid. Like, you can't tell at all from that angle where you're supposed to jump. You can't spin stupid. the camera. Stupid. Huh? Shigeru Miyamoto. Why don't you figure out how to make a video game? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. He probably didn't design this level because you know what? He knows what's up. He probably, if he saw this, he would have been like, "What you guys doing? Hey, what you guys doing? This is not a cool video game." You're what accent is that? That's my Shigeru Miyamoto accent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you know he made the game Nintendo Dogs? Oh, that's him. Did you know Nintendo Dogs is like one of the best-selling games in the world? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you look at a list of the top, like, all right, I think I need to line up a little more. This one. No, god damn it! It's, I think I'm overthinking it. I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna not overthink it. I'm just gonna do it. Stop overthinking it. Um, but yeah, if you look at a list of the top ten games, in of by sales, you'd be surprised how much on there. Ten dogs. Wow. Okay. <laughs> ten dogs. How is many on of there. those are there? Uh, just the one. 
Oh, that they had other ones. Too. They, they did release one for the 3DS, but the one the one that was for the DS is the big one. Oh, wow. I don't, I don't think I've ever part. played that before. Yeah, you played Nintendogs. I did? Yeah, you had Chase, don't you remember? Oh, that came from that? Yeah, that's Nintendogs. Oh, okay. You played it. It's a very simple game. Yeah, you. it's Tamagotchi, but with a dog. Um, yeah, so Nintendogs, um, Connect <laughs> Adventures is, I think, the best-selling Xbox game. Do you know Connect Adventures? That's the one that came bundled with the Connect. That's why it's the best selling. Oh, okay. No, son of a bitch. Okay, I think I know what to do now. I think I know what to do. Yeah, you figured it out. I'm going to do this. This is like fucking Thomas the Engine Train, whatever bullshit. <laughs> I'm not giving up on this shit. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, the other big selling game is Wii Sports, obviously, because it came oh, bundled. Wii Sports, yeah, yeah. They have a separate list of games that were like the best selling games that weren't bundled with something. Like, it's kind of not fully fair to count like Wii Sports because it's like, oh, well, it came with the Wii, so yeah, a, a billion like really people the bought the, the Wii. Wii yeah. Um, so yeah, I agree that that one's kind of That doesn't of a, make sense to... Um, but like, Call of Duty is on there. Well, I guess Call of Duty makes sense, but that's on there like six times for different Call of Duty games. Jeez, so many of those. Um, so which way? This way. Yay! You can do it! Oh my god, Mario, you finally did it. Wow, it was like just dead silence during concentration. <laughs> right? Uh, I was like, let me not say anything smart. Oh my god. Um, what else is on there? Mario Kart, I think, was on there. Some of the Pokemon games, too, I think. Uh, damn, I forgot, and I even looked it up before, and there's like some surprising games on there. Really? Um, well, yeah, the 10 I, dogs is a surprise. Now, now that I'm conquering, conquering my tough level, should I try to get the stupid one in the pyramid? Oh, my God. Yeah, you're still with that. Oh, my Jeez. God. Guys, you're going to be, like, so tired of this level. You're tired of the level. No, I love it. I love <laughs> sand and deserts and Egypt mm. and Moon Knight and all that stuff. <laughs> Moon Knight. Yeah, we were just watching Moon Knight. <laughs> um... Very interesting show, for sure. Yeah. Do you like Oscar Isaac's British accent? Yeah, you, you know... You think how authentic I, is that? You I'm try that? Uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out if it worked. I guess they were yeah. trying to make the person like this really meek per person, right? Yeah, he was like... Meek. Oh, it's like... So it reflects in his voice or whatever. Yeah, and then when... When he's when he's Moon Knight, he's like more... He's more... He's got confidence. He's yeah. like ready to ask a girl out on a date. He's like... Kicks a mass. At first, he's like in his oh, suit. Oh, oh. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my fly. god. Fly! Fly, you, you fool! <laughs> fly! Oh, uh, wow. That's that a didn't gruesome work. death. <sighs> Is this gonna be the the playthrough of George's frustrating levels? Is this gonna be like, can we break George <laughs> in Mario 64? Break him hard. Break you. You do a medley of all the. God, the stupid cactus got you in do. my way. Stupid. And then some. Well, sometimes you scream. Sometimes you're just like in in quiet fury. You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I see. Heavy breathing. Like a Lamaze class or something. Like I'm giving birth. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Special hat. It's too bad I can't just fly up there. Maybe I can. Should I just try to... Oh, you know, I should use the cannon. Why don't I just cheat? You know what? If you can't do it properly, just fucking cheat, guys. Okay. I mean, I don't know if this is considered cheating, but what if I just shoot myself up there? Duh. See how it goes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. There we go, Mario. There you go. Just fly into the little cubby hole. Or cubby hole. Yeah. A cubby hole with a star right here. Right here. Just oh, fly okay. Boom. Why didn't oh. I just do that? Guys, guys, if you can't do it the hard way, do it the easy way. Oh, and you know what? With that, I'm going to leave you guys with this <laughs> bit of advice. When life m throws lemons at you, say, what the fuck? Stop throwing lemons at me. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>